Go on, bro. Toasted. Oh, so, yeah, uh, my question was about the Trinity. <laughs> I'll do one question and then I'm going to go. Right, right. So, I just want to know, is Jesus God? I just want a simple answer. Is Jesus God? Yes. Is God eternal? Yes. Is God immortal? Yes. Where he died. I know. Is, I know. Did I've Christ, heard this script before. Hold on, hold on. Did Christ die? Yes. So, now that we've run through the script, right. let me unpack the answer for you. Because I've heard this script a million times before. Yeah, and put it on your head. Yeah, I know. I might, I might as well just carry a billboard with all the questions on and all the answers. No, no. Right. So, Christians teach, and this is what you've got to hear. Regardless of what the Muslims tell you in the mosque. I'm wait, 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 bro. Do you want to hear the answer? So, wait, wait. So, you're coming from that script. The script. Do you want to hear the answer? Come on, let, let's be nice. Your child's here, right? Okay. So, regardless of what your Muslim scholars have told you. I'm not a Muslim. Brother. So, stop saying that. Okay. That's what I'm saying. All right, you're not a Muslim. You need to stop saying that. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. All right, I apologize. I apologize. Don't say that. Most Muslims. Most people. Bro, bro, brother. Do you want to hear? the answer yes that's what i said okay don't accuse me to be something that i'm not so you're not a muslim okay that's fine sometimes sometimes no, the, these questions i hear right i hear all the time from muslims and i assumed you're right i assume yeah yeah so apologize i've apologized now listen to the answer christians believe that the divine logos the sun that is immortal and eternal yeah that has never had a beginning and never has an end takes to itself, takes to himself, a human nature. That human nature is what dies on the cross. So That's that, what we Christians so believe. So that human nature, is that, is that God the Father? Well, no, no, we don't believe that. That's not what we teach and it's not what we believe. So wherever you're getting that information from, it's wrong. So when you say you worship the Father, Yes. You worship the Son. Yes. And you worship the Holy Spirit. Correct. Are these one in body? They are one in essence. Are they one in body? No, no I've essence. just I've given you the Christian answer. In essence. They are one in essence. We don't say they are the same person. So when Christians talk about the Trinity, there are two rules that we always have to follow. Right. One is we can never divide the divinity because if we divide in the divinity, we become polytheists and we're not polytheists. So we, whatever we say about the Trinity always has to maintain the unity of the essence. But we must never confuse the persons. We must never say that the Father is the Son or that the Son is the Father or that either one of them is the Holy Spirit. So what we always say is that there are three persons who have at exactly the same time, without any division, exactly the same essence, which is the divinity. So would that make Christ immortal? Yes, so the Logos Christ is immortal. Died. So when, again, because we're talking, you've talked about the Trinity, and then you're talking about the incarnation. So I'll just go through my answer again. We Christians believe that the divinity, without dying or changing, took to itself a human nature. And that human nature that is the one person of Christ dies. So is that divinity? Is it immortal? Yes, just, the divinity is immortal. So, but that thing died. That's what you're no. saying. No. Did you hear what I said? I, I heard clearly what, what you What did said. I say? So you're saying something that's immortal took on flesh and died. Did anyone hear me say that? That's no. what he said. No, I didn't say that. I'll say it again for you because no. you weren't listening. And do you know why you're not listening? It's because you've learned a script. No, no, I'm listening to you. So no, listen, no, no, listen, listen. It's all right. He's just learned a script. Listen, just I'll say it again, up. right? Listen, the, the, the human nature, yeah? The human nature is what dies on the cross. Of something that's immortal. No, one second. What we say about the incarnation is that the divine and human natures, the divine and human natures, listen, listen, yeah, right? They are not confused. They are not mixed. They are not separated. So what happens is the human nature dies, but the divine nature, though it enters into death, remains. So it dies, but it remains. No, no, no. It enters into death, but it remains. So let me use an analogy that the church fathers use. Because your script doesn't match what we Christians say. It is, it, the script you're using doesn't match what we say. So we, it's like the, the church fathers say, if I get a staff of wood, a stick of wood, and I get a stick of iron, and I chuck them both into the water, so it's the same action to two things that have different properties and qualities. The iron sinks to the bottom, 
but the wood floats across the top. And that is what happens when we talk about the divinity and the... Well, that's unfortunate for you and your script. But I understand it. Why you keep saying script? I understand it. Why you keep saying script? Because you're using a script, a script I've heard... Bro, bro, listen, listen. We've got all of your questions asked multiple times on multiple videos. You're using a script I've heard a million times before. Well, you're not answering my script, that's what I'm saying. So because you your script, time, shall, I tell you, shall I tell you what's going on? You're asking a question that has a certain set of premises. Those premises are wrong. We don't agree with your premise. You're saying that the divinity dies and it's... It is within that flesh. What I said it, was... What I said I'm was... Asking. Is the divinity within the yeah, flesh Yeah, but brother, of brother. Yes or no? Yeah, brother, brother. Is it or is it not? Brother, brother, I'm going to answer your question. I'm asking I'm you going to answer your question. Is that divinity within the flesh? I'm going the, to the answer flesh. your question. Oh, I'm going to answer your question. Yes, the divinity is in the flesh. So is that divinity One second. immortal? You didn't listen. You would jump to your next part of your script. No, I'm just asking. Yes, you're you. jumping to the next part of your script, but you're not listening to what I'm saying. Yes, the divinity. <laughs> okay. Yes, the divinity is in the flesh. And it's immortal. But what? And it's immortal. So it died. And what? No, it doesn't die. Did it, how, how many? Right, guys, guys, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. I'm going to say it to you really clearly, just one more time, and then I'm going to stop. That's fine. Because you're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm clearly listening to you. You're clearly not listening. And, and shall I tell you the reason why? Because you've got a script that says this doesn't make sense. Yes, I am. You're right. I am going to answer the question, but I'm pointing out what we've got lots of evidence of, which is people like you just repeat. Yes, people just repeat. Well, can I finish my answer? What kind of people am I? Yeah, well, it seems to me like someone who's been hoodwinked by the Dawa teams. That's what it seems. That's what it seems. Yep. That's what it seems. That's what it seems. Whoa, Just saying what crazy, I see. But you don't want to listen to the answer. Because How can you say that? Is it an insult to be hoodwinked by the Dawa team? Listen, man, that's an insult to me personally, right. what you're saying. Well, unfortunately, I'm you just saying say what I'm saying. Like I've never said people like you. I've never said anything about the, you or script brother, or anything. The script, you're clearly the just way, keep the way you're coming off. Brother, because the way you're coming across, the script that you... I'm being polite. I'm asking you nicely. I'm waiting for you nicely. Listen, you say people like you. The script that we heard, yes. The hood winked people who believe this script like you believe this script. So let me 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 I'm gonna say it one more time, really clearly. We Chris you know what would help is if you repeat what I say to so I know you've heard it. We Christians Did you hear that? So you Christians We Christians do not believe. Go on. What what don't we believe? Say it. Yeah, you tell me what you don't right, believe. Right, listen. Uh, we Christians yeah. <laughs> do not believe what? that the divinity yeah. died on the cross. Did you hear that? I heard that. What did you hear? You said you Christians do not believe the divinity died on the cross. That's now he's going to say. Now he's going to say so that now, I believe the was, divinity was, died on the cross. No, no, there we go. I'm, I'm saying. Go on. Was the divinity in Christ that was on the cross? Yes. Did he die? The humanity <laughs> died. So, so there you go. There you go. He's just not listening. So the divinity is omnipresent, is it not? So when Christ bowed, where does omnipresence go? He said it is finished. Christ bowed his head. He said yes. it is finished. Yes. Did he die on that cross? Yes. So what else did you see on that cross? So now let me ask you this question. Did you see his divinity come down? Let, and let, him let, let me interrogate your script. Do you believe that death is an equivalent to annihilation? What do you mean? Life so annihilation? Life. No, it isn't. No, no. Annihilation means to cease to exist in any oh, right. sense yeah, of the yeah, word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Extinction. Yeah, totally do you extinction. believe yeah. that death is the equivalent of annihilation? No. Right, brilliant. No. Do you believe, as I believe, as we Christians believe, that even though your body dies, yeah. you continue to exist? If, if your body dies, you continue to exist. That's what we believe as Christians. I'm asking if you believe it. No. Right, so you believe when you die, you're gone. When you die, you sleep. That's it. Right, when you die, spirit. you sleep. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah. your belief. Okay. As a Christian, we don't have that belief. Yeah. As a Christian, we believe that when you die, it's not so much that you cease to exist as the state of your existence transforms. To what? Where does it go? So, the soul of Christ separated from the body and descended into hates. That's what, what the Bible teaches. Into hell. 
Hades. No, no, no. What, what's Hades? Is that hell? Hades is a place where the spirits wait. It's the ancient Greek. Oh, that's it's where the spirits Greek. wait. Yeah. It's so Greek. you're saying that yeah, Christ, the, the immortal it's divinity of Christ, did not go back to heaven where it came from. It went where the spirits wait. What, 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 I'm, what I'm saying to you is that the divinity did not cease to exist when the body died. It continued to exist. So in answer to the question, does the immortal continue to exist? The answer is yes. The Council of Ephesus is very clear about this. It literally explains this. It literally says the immortal is immortal and does not suffer death. That is what it says. It does not cease to exist. You have to admit, so there's a lot of things about a spirit. What's so complicated about a spirit when you die? Did, when you die so did you get me? So, okay, so I've got, I've got one scripture in Ecclesiastic. So I heard what you said. I clearly heard what you said. Yeah. And you said the because spirit. You're, re, you're coming from on, one, on, one scripture. I stated that he's, he didn't that. cease to so exist. He went into the waiting room. I'm saying that the way but that he know, exists is powerful, he? changed. Is I'm saying, where did this, where does this, is possible when you die, where does the so spirit go? Why, why couldn't he? he went, his spirit went to Hades. His spirit went to Hades. His spirit went to Hades. Yes. So so on the earth and, according to Ecclesiastic 12, verse 7, he made the earth, he made the And the dust returned to the ground. He made us all. Why couldn't he do that? Where it came from. Yep. And the spirit Become returned spirit. to God who gave it. What and come down mean? as a man, as a spirit. So, Why what, what, what come down as Jesus? So, in terms of... In, in the Trinity. Brother, brother. Why? I mean, brother. He, made, he made everything. Brother. Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. it's all right, it's all right, sorry, sorry, it's all right. These guys, we know, we, we, we know the script. He can make okay. the earth, but he can't so, make a spirit. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it. Their, their, Allah, their Allah doesn't make sense. Their Allah doesn't make sense. So, in, in, to, allow, allow me to address your verse. Because, no, 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 it's fine. You see, you, no, no, I believe you. I believe you. I'm not, I'm not doubting you've read the scriptures. But when you, when you read the Old Testament and the New Testament, what you see is an evolution of the understanding, an increasing in the knowledge of what happens after death. We Christians believe, we Christians believe that right now, mm -hmm. there are souls in heaven with God. Yes. So in heaven with God? Yes, we believe that. When Jesus was on the cross yeah. with the thief, yeah. What did he say to the thief? He says, you shall be with me this day in paradise. There you go. So we is create... paradise heaven? Paradise is in heaven with God, yes. Paradise is Jannah. So they're so in heaven right now. Yes. That's what we believe as Christians. So as you can see, bro, the contradiction that you think is... Oh, no. The contradiction that you think is there is not there. Wait, hold on. Do, do you see why the contradiction you think is there is not there? I'm going to show you. Wait, 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 I'm asking you a question. I've answered lots of questions from you. I'm asking you a question now. One second, I'm asking you a question now. You, you asserted a contradiction. I've demonstrated that it isn't what you think it is. Do you accept now there isn't a contradiction? No, because Ecclesiastics 12.7 clearly yes. says yes. that the body goes to the dust and the spirit goes to God. Yes. God is not in that waiting room you're speaking of, is he? No, 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 so, so. Where do you believe God is? So. Where do you believe God is? God is omnipresent. Is he in heaven? God, no, God is omnipresent. He's everywhere. Where, okay, where is Christ right now? He's in heaven. Next to who? The Father. So is the Father in heaven? Yes. Right? So the spirit, the body dies and the spirit goes to the Father, which Correct. is Christ is sitting next to, right? Yes, yes. So in heaven. Yeah. So we got John 3, 13. He says, and no had ascended up in heaven, but that came down from heaven, even yep. the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Yep. He says there's no one that's ascended to you know, heaven. You know what the problem with your script is? It's selective that use of verses. That is John 13. It's selective use that's of verses. That's John 13. Because Jesus also says, no, that's bro. Not, that, that's John 13. Joe, bro, I've heard all of this bro, script before. you saying script. Yes, it's I've the Holy script. Bible. The, and what else does the Bible say? What, what, what does you see, you don't know, do you? No, Jesus no, says, no, Jesus says, Jesus says, no one goeth to the Father except through me. That right. I am the gate, that I am the way. So Jesus is the very way that we go to the Father. The so, very way. So you're saying that he's taking people into heaven right now? You can't get to the Father except by Jesus. Okay, is he taking people into heaven right that now? That is the only he's way yes. you can go. So you're saying Christ is welcoming people into heaven yes. right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to say that, yes. <laughs> you thought about that, right? Because I didn't know whether you were going to just try and pin me to the literal words. You thought about that. So what about, what about the great judgment? Wait, wait, hold on one second, bro. 
Bro, I want you to I want you to wrestle with what I'm saying. Did Jesus say to the thief, this day you will be with me in paradise? This day in paradise. Yes. yes he brilliant. Said that. And does Jesus say that there is no way to the Father except through him? Yes, absolutely. So does that. that mean that through Jesus we can go to the Father? Absolutely. And does is the Father in heaven? The Father is in heaven. Brilliant. Is God omnipresent? God, God is omnipresent, yeah. Does that also include Hades? That I don't believe in hell. That's no, 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 no. One second. I don't believe in Hades, the place that you're speaking of. I don't believe there's such a place so you, in the Bible. It's a Greek, ancient Greek. Yeah. So that doesn't. That, yeah, that's a deception. So, so uh, at this point, we get, we're going to have to stop because I said I would oh, no, do I one question about the Trinity. Maybe I, I apologise for assuming that you were a Muslim. I'll come earlier next time. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because just 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 on just on this this point yeah. about Hades, there there is there is a good biblical argument that you can argue in terms of saying that hell isn't what we have traditionally yeah, understood it to right. be. But what we can't argue is that there isn't a punishment after death. We can argue about whether that punishment is eternal, but we can't argue about whether but that we, punishment is there. We can argue whether that punishment takes place straight away or at a specific time, like the book of Revelation uh, uh, clearly says. Can I ask so, you, bro, do you believe in the Trinity? I don't believe in the Trinity. No. I would like to debate you on whether the Trinity is there in Scripture. I, yeah, we can do that. Come early next week. Right. And no we'll talk problem. about it. You know what? All right. Exactly Again, the apologies for, for the yeah, No problem. That's yeah. Right, I, I'm going to go. Oh, that's Thank exactly you. The